Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. What I wanted to show you is a, a product that I picked up uh, about a year ago, and I figured it's something that I should share with you guys. Um, as you know, in the past, if you've seen any of my other stuff, I'm a big fan of a product by Flitz, which is their um, metal polish. Stuff is excellent. If you've never seen it used before, works on aluminum, chrome, stainless, brass, blah, 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 blah. Um, great product. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is um, I have my Harley here that I was out riding this weekend. Got some bug guts, some water spots and things on it. And I wanted to show you how this thing works. This is our super mini buff ball they came out with. Um, goes on a, obviously a cordless drill like I'm using here, but you can use it on a corded drill. And the cool thing about this is um, it's made out of like a viscose or like a, they call it a chamois material. It doesn't heat up like a foam buffer if you've seen those out on the market and they fan out and the biggest thing is these are all rubber protected so if you do slip you're not going to be scratching anything at all and the thing with this fan design is air circulates it right through it so you don't have to worry about burning a painted area at all but let me just show you really quick how this thing works take a little bit of your flitz polish and put it right on the area that you're working on I'm going to show you for example here on my fork here Take a little of the polish, just put it right on the area. Again, you can do this if you've seen my stuff in the past. You can do this by hand or with a cloth or however you want to do it, but I prefer to do it by hand. It just saves me a lot of time. And uh, I'm going to jump around here to the other side. Since I'm right-handed, put that product on. Take the buffer, work it slow so it doesn't spit up on you at all. Work it right on the area that you're working on, and let's give it some juice. Really cuts down on all your polishing time. Gives you a lot of elbow grease and, and most of all finger strength. to get you back out on the road really fast. I don't know if you can make it out, but take it off your water spots, your bug guts. And again, air circulates right through this, so when I'm right by my painted area, I don't have to worry about damaging anything at all or burning my paint. There you have it. Brings it right out. Now, I wanted to show you one other thing that's cool about this buffer. If you're a kind of person, obviously you can tell I have mags on this bike. It does a great job, but, you know, some of this you can even do by hand if you want to. But one thing that you can do with this is it works unbelievable on spoke wheels. Now, this is my buddy's uh, spoke wheel. He's uh, putting together a uh, old school chopper. We picked this up at a swap meet not too long ago. We did use a flitz on it and it pretty much cleaned it up pretty well. Um, some spots you're never going to get where the chrome is coming off. I don't know if you can make that on the video. But it really did a good job and uh, brought it back to life. And I just wanted to show you how we did this. Take a little of your flitz polish and then take that buffer. Now, some of the other things that are out there you always got to do it by hand. With this buffer, it gets into those tight areas, which is great. Take the buffer and basically just start working it in between and give it some juice. Again, these fingers will fan right out and get in those tighter areas for you. You can run these sideways, head on, however you want to do it. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, oh, yeah, it looks like it works really good, but, you know, I got a rotor on here. No problem. Again, you can run these at all different angles around your rotors. If you got a wheel off like this, since we're doing a bike restoration, you can even take this at an angle and use these head on if you want to polish out the hubs before you go on and put your rotors on. Just saves a lot of time. Again, these are all rubber protected, so you don't have to worry about scratching anything at all either. When these get filthy dirty, what I've been using is which they told me at the factory when I called them. Um, like a dish detergent soap works really good. I just put it in a bucket, spin it a couple times, wring it out, let it air dry, and you're good to go. But once again, I just want to show you a really quick process on how to clean and restore your motorcycle wheels, tight areas on a bike, just giving you plenty of more time to go out and go riding instead of sitting there and uh, working your fingers to the bone. So thanks a lot for stopping by and checking out my video. And uh, when I got a new product I can show you, I'll be back online. Thanks again.